Staying in Washington, we are currently less than a week away from the national health care exchanges going into effect. Tonight, our national correspondent at Fox 17, Christine Frizzau, has the answers to some of your most frequently asked questions. Here in Washington, Obamacare, as it's come to be known, is the most used political football. But it's also a reality for millions of Americans. So let's break down what it might mean for you. Question number one is for those of you who already have health insurance through your job. What do you need to do? The answer is pretty simple, says Dr. Mark McClellan, senior fellow at the Brookings Institution. For people who have their coverage through their job, you should look to your employer first, not to the exchanges. As far as who does need to register? Anyone who doesn't have insurance. But October 1st is when the exchanges open. You have until the end of March 2014 to register. If you want coverage sooner, then sign up sooner. If you don't have insurance and you don't sign up, you'll be required to pay a penalty on your 2014 tax return. For people with lower incomes, they are eligible to get help affording the premiums. So paying the fine is not necessarily cheaper for everyone. The question may be, is it worth getting the insurance and, and everything I have to pay for that versus the, the risk of not having coverage if I need it. Now on to one of the most popular questions. Will I get to keep the doctor I have? For almost everyone, the answer is yes. Most people who have coverage through their job are not going to be directly affected by the new exchanges. People who may not are those who buy health insurance on their own or are getting it through a small business. Finally, what does it mean if your state is not participating in the exchanges? The law requiring you to have insurance or pay a fine applies to everyone in the United States, regardless of whether your state government is participating in the exchange. In these states, the federal government is managing the exchanges. These are, of course, just a few questions, but we thought it was important to get the answers out there. Now, what you should remember is October 1st is just a starting date. The deadline is not till March 31st, 2014. In Washington, I'm Christine Frizzell reporting. Now, the rollout of national health care reform is closely tied to threats of a government shutdown. It's impending right now. Now, no matter your opinion, we want to make sure that you tell our elected officials how you feel and what you want them to do. So we've made it easy for you. Just go to our website, fox17.com, scroll down to the government accountability section. Then you can choose the lawmaker that you need to send a message to.